Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm gonna show you how we can uh, merge uh, metahuman meshes and skeletons and also how to uh, fix uh, post-process blueprints after the merging and the blueprint, the metahuman blueprint as well. So uh, this is the metahuman uh, we are gonna merge. It's uh, called uh, Etore. This is the blueprint. And uh, one thing that we need to uh, make sure we check out is the custom LOD mapping for the body. Uh, we have here uh, all face LODs from 0 to 7. Uh, and uh, 0, 1 has uh, LOD uh, 0 on the body. Uh, LOD 2 has uh, uh, LOD 1 on the body. 3 has, has LOD 1. 4 has LOD 2, 5 has LOD 2, 6 has LOD 3, and 7 has LOD 4. So in our merging uh, process, we're gonna uh, preserve that LOD mapping, right? So uh, let's uh, get started. Um, we're gonna attach the body to the head, but we're gonna make the body skeleton as the primary right so uh, let's uh, get started this is the body mesh and uh, to make uh, the parent skeleton from which we start merging uh, the skeletons is uh, the body we want the body to be the main bones and then the missing bones we add from the head we keep, uh, we enable merge skeletons, but uh, we don't transfer any weights. Don't forget to disable this. Uh, and we are also gonna weld because when we sculpt, we don't want to uh, create a gap between these two meshes, right? So we're gonna weld as well. And now let's fix the LOD map. Uh, here we get a message, max target LOD index is seven. The head is the target and source LOD index 3, the body is the source, right? So let's add here. And um, I added all uh, eight LODs, right? Starting from zero to uh, seven. And uh, following what we've seen in the LOD sync component in the MetaHuman Blueprint, we're gonna do the same. So target LOD zero with source LOD zero. Target LOD 1 with source LOD 0. Target LOD 2 with source LOD 1. Target LOD 3 with source LOD 1. Target LOD 4 with source LOD 2. Target LOD 5 with source LOD 2. And now for the last two. It's target LOD 6 with source LOD 3 and target LOD 7 with source LOD 3. Uh, we're gonna press OK. And uh, now we can proceed uh, with our uh, baking, right? Uh, let's append the mesh. We're gonna pick a, we're gonna pick a skeleton name here. We're gonna call it custom full meta human. Let's give it any name, it's fine. Okay, uh, our uh, metahuman has been uh, uh, made a full body uh, skeletal mesh. Let's test it out. This is how it works now. It's a full mesh. And uh, now uh, we need uh, to fix uh, the post process and uh, animation blueprints, right? So uh, let's open first this. Uh, this uh, Skeletal mesh in persona, and let's open the body. 
in Persona as well. And let's search for the post process. Let's open it. Okay. This is not the post process, this was created afterwards, so we're gonna search for our post process animation blueprint. And uh, to do that, let's see our uh, face. I think it's here somewhere. This is the post process. So I'm gonna copy this. I don't want to overwrite them. I'm gonna create here a folder. So one is uh, the post process for the head. And uh, let me copy the body as well. The post process for the body. Okay, and uh, one more thing in the blueprint, we're gonna also copy the face animation blueprint. This is not the post process, right? This is the animation blueprint. And uh, we're gonna copy it here as well. And uh, let's save on. And now we need to uh, combine the body and face post process animation blueprints, right? So uh, to do that, uh, we're just gonna jump into the body post process blueprint and we are gonna copy everything except the beginning of this input pose, right? Let's uh, copy and uh, let's go to the face post process. And we're gonna paste it somewhere here. It's fine. Let's put it nicely here. And uh, uh, as you can see, in our body, this uh, was the input pose, cached input pose, but the, because when we pasted, it got changed, right? So we are gonna get back input pose, the cached, and we're gonna plug it in. And we're gonna make a duplicate of this node. And uh, I think something bugged in the engine. Let's open again. I'm just gonna duplicate this node. Okay, and put it here. I'm gonna uh, create this uh, a variable here. Now let's compile. And I'm gonna enable it because this is what the MetaHuman has by default. I'm just gonna try to keep the default as possible. And here we're gonna save this to a new uh, cache pose, right? And we're gonna call this body cache. Right, so now we go at the beginning here and we're gonna use the body cache instead of the input pose, right? We want to process first the body and then the head. Let's duplicate this node and let's plug it in and uh, let's test, let's compile this. Uh, let's uh, assign the skeleton. And what was the name? Custom full meta human. Okay. Let's compile. Save. Everything is fine, and uh, now let's assign this post process to our mesh. 
Uh, let's actually let's rename it first. Let's rename a full body post process. Should be fine. And uh, let's uh, assign it now to our uh, full body skeletal mesh. Okay, uh, let's save everything so we don't lose any progress. We can delete this backup. We already copied everything to uh, the full body post process. And now let's uh, let's do the animation blueprint. Okay. Here it's a little bit simpler. You can put here input pose. You can also do the retarget and whatever other uh, needs you have for your project. But I'm just going to use uh, input pose because there's no component to copy from. And uh, now uh, let's uh, apply this to our blueprint here actually let's rename it first full body in bp okay now let's apply it full body okay uh, now the next thing we have to do, uh, we need to uh, unparent these components, right? Now the face is a full body, let's rename it so we don't lose track. Now this is full body. And uh, these components will inherit from the full body mesh, right? Feet, torso and legs, right? And uh, let's... Uh, the parent full body is not part of the body anymore and let's search for class member right let's see we need to uh, get rid of it so uh, this is live link if you need to set up uh, this uh, you can go ahead and do it but we won't do it for the body we will remove the body mesh so keep that in mind you will have to do it for the full body if you need that uh, thing in construction script uh, we don't set any class to our full body mesh and we don't do any live retarget setup you will do that in the animation blueprint for the full body mesh here we're gonna replace body with full body and uh, now we can Remove the live retarget setup and uh, let's compile, save, and let's remove this. Right, the body component we don't need it anymore. Our next uh, for body component name, let's call this full body, and the face component name is gonna be full body as well. And uh, in LOD sync, uh, remove uh, the sync uh, uh, component here. We don't need the body anymore. We don't have it. It's only the face. And uh, custom LOD mapping, we don't need this anymore. So uh, now we can compile, save, and uh, we should uh, uh, do one more thing. We need to fix the material for all LODs, so uh, let's uh, quickly go back. Uh, we can uh, do that by uh, navigating into uh, uh, LOD sections, and it's the last material, and it starts with LOD 2, and let's set 
the material correctly. Load D2, and load D3, and load D4, and load D5. Hello D6 and hello D7 and uh, as you can see we have no gaps because uh, when uh, we appended the mesh and merged the skeletons we used the same uh, LOD mapping as in LOD sync and you will see we don't have any gap on any of the LODs let me navigate quickly through them. So there's no gap between uh, these uh, uh, meshes that were uh, merged together. Let's save this. And another thing I want to do is uh, retarget this animation. And we will retarget to our new skeletal mesh. Let's get this werewolf, export animation, full, let's prefix it with a full name so we know if this works with the full mesh. Okay. Let's save all, always try to create backups. This is the animation we're going to use. Okay. Uh, another thing uh, we have to do is assign, make sure we have the default animation rig. We have the face. You can switch to the body if you want, but by default uh, we have the face. And uh, now uh, I think we're good to go. We can test this in uh, a sequence animation. Let's do it here for level sequence. And now let's uh, add our actor to the track list. Let's test the face uh, animation. This is the coming from the rig logic from DNA, metahuman DNA. Uh, let's uh, add uh, the body rig, control rig, sorry, and uh, let's test it out. Okay, this also works. And also, let's uh, test uh, with the animation. So this is it. We now have a full body metahuman with face board and uh, body control rig. And uh, we can uh, keyframe it or use uh, uh, mocap animations without any problems, right? So this is it, guys. I hope you like this video and uh, see you around. Bye.